Hey Sparkly Beans, it's Avery and I am here for the hashtag do I have a deck challenge. Um, I actually haven't watched any of this because I, I get the, the gist of that it's a treasure hunt and um, I thought I would try to do a speed run so I didn't want to think about it too much and I didn't want to see somebody else's so that I would get ideas because um, it felt like it would be cheating. So I'm going to bring up a little Google timer. Um, this is from the uh, account uh, Journal d'une Femme Moderne. It's uh, Via Benabelle Wynn is who I saw it on. Um, and so I just copied down the prompts and we're gonna look in the collection and see how fast I can find these decks and whether I can find all of them. I don't know if it's supposed to be a speed run, but it's gonna be a speed run. So let's, let's do it. We're putting the timer on. If you're new here, hi, my name is Avery and I help neurodivergent and nerdy humans Oh man, I can't do my tagline while I'm while I'm typing in Google. My name is Avery and I help justice align neurodivergent and nerdy humans to cultivate ease and self-trust for growing into our emerging future. Da, da, da. And one of the ways I do that is via the tarot. And now we are gonna pull up stopwatch app on our app. We're gonna Google the word stopwatch and see what happens. And we're gonna start. Okay, ready, steady, go. All right, I need a two color deck. This is totally gonna be um, how quickly can I actually remember where decks are? Because um, I know what I'm looking for. The textured tarot is definitely two colors, but I don't know if I can find the box. So maybe there's another two color deck. I mean, this feels like cheating, but technically it's black and white. Does black and white count? We're gonna maybe do the mini moons. I'm gonna like real quick, see if I can find the textured. Not the textured, what is that deck called? Um, I know what I'm thinking of though. It's blue and brown. Um, okay, I don't think I'm going to find that deck. So, so I have everything organized kind of like thematically. Um, and I feel like it would be in the vaguely modern section, but I don't know what kind of barrier. Aha! This. Okay, is this two colors? Tran it's not called the texture tarot at all. It's called the transient light. I do have the texture tarot. It's a different deck. Uh, yeah, this is two colors, I think. Looks like two colors. It's brown and a kind of, I mean, it's shades of gray, but I think that counts, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna count that. If that doesn't count, then black and white, we're gonna say the many queens. Um, multicultural. Um, okay, so multicultural, I would go with, oh, uh, let's do, I mean, I have a number that would count for this, but let's do, where's my next row? Uh, somewhere. Um, this is much less about can I find, a, do I have the deck, and more it's about can I find the deck. Um, it's it should be in the gay section. What? Why are we? Why are we not in the gay section? Next world. Um, that's disappointing. It is definitely very gay. Oh, you know why? Because it's on my tarot table. Okay, fine. So let's do a different one. Multicultural. Um. I mean, honest. Oh no, that's over there too. All my multi multicultural decks are apparently over there. Um, how about, what else do I have? I have a lot that are like single cult. So I have like the Black Femme Tarot. I have, let's see, um, ah, it's not over there. Modern Witch, okay. The Modern Witch, I think, counts. It's got folks of various races and cultures depicted for sure. Collaborative deck. I do not like collaborative decks, so I have very few. Is there one that's actually on these shelves? There is not, so we're gonna run over here. This is literal speed run, it's like actually running. Okay, here you go. This is the, um, the 78 Tarot, one of the many 78 Tarot, all of which are collaborative. This is the ecological. I guess I should like show a few cards, but I'm trying to speed run it, so we're not gonna do too many cards. So the next one, so here's some examples from this deck. The next one is to find a deck that has no keywords, numbers, or symbols. Woo, okay. So we need something that basically has nothing on it in terms of like, do I have a deck that literally has nothing? Because I feel like it's gonna have Roman numerals. Like there's gonna be something so you know what the card is. Does it have to be tarot? You know, it does not say it has to be tarot. So we're going, it could be, I'm gonna say this challenge works for Oracle. So if that's true, then let's go with, where are they? 
dun, 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 dun. um somewhere oh there okay so these i'm pretty sure the soul cards this is i don't know was it one soul cards one yeah there we go zilch zippo nada boom okay then we want shades of blue on the box well that is going to be really easy because i can actually look at the boxes now i don't have to try to remember which bag a deck is in so shades of blue that's weirdly specific um i mean i don't know what they're counting as shades but i'm gonna go like what's one that is kind of this is kind of well i don't know like shade you know i have a lot of blue this one probably yeah, this is this is kind of textured, so we'll go with this. This is the Oce Oceanum Arcana, Ar Arcana. If alumni is AE, then it would be Arcana. Um, the Ocean Tarot. This is like I don't even think I. Yeah, this is like totally not even. It's gonna be. It's not even open, but here's the fool. Um, chill. Oh, chill. Do I have a children's deck? Okay, that one I might not have because I am, in fact, not a child. But I am very childlike in certain ways, so I may actually have one that would count. Let me look down here in my playful deck section. Uh, what, what is this? What is this? What are you? Oh, this is definitely not child. No, I know what this is. This is actually, um, this is the one that has the F word a lot of times, so that's that's not child, a child's deck. Um, huh. I don't know if I do have one that would count. Oh, yeah, you know what? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna call this, I, I mean, ch children's deck. Anybody can use any tarot deck. However, this is definitely a children's series. So the Future Vision Crystal Gem Tarot, Steven Universe, we're gonna count it. All right, the next one is Duplicate Decks. Um, I don't have literally the, the like exact same edition and everything. I just that's just not a thing I do. But I'm gonna assume we can take this somewhat liberally, and I'm gonna go with where is it? Is it where is it where is it? Should be two black boxes. Next one another. Ha. Tarot of the Holy Spectrum. One is unopened. This is the first edition. That's the one I have opened. This is the second because I literally cannot decide which one I want to keep. <laughs> um, and because Lindsay Mack is my primary or original first tarot teacher, well, one of the first tarot teachers I worked with, um, it's her husband Chase for he's so so yeah. They're a great teacher and they're. Um, their stuff is their their understandings of the cards I would say are pretty pretty faithfully depicted I mean Chase is obviously his own person but there's a lot of influence you can see there in that deck um deck only about the physical body hmm interesting only about the physical body I don't know how to interpret that a deck about the body well Hmm. Uh, I'm like, I'm like thinking, what would be, oh, what about, um, oh wait, do I have that deck? <laughs> do I have that deck? Let's play the game of which decks have I bought and which decks have I not bought? I'm not sure I have. I was thinking of the Antique Anatomy, but I actually don't think I have that one. Um, body. Oh, is this going to be the one that slows me way down? Um, I mean, I'm not sure how we're defining only about. And I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm autistic, and I'm going to get hung up on this if I think too much about it. So you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say only about physical body. I'm going to go with, um, where is it? The Marigold. No, that's not the Marigold. Where's the Marigold? It's down here. Marigold. Um, I mean, again, what is about me? But this deck, ugh, um, you know, there's a, there, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a person on 
or part of a person on every card, and it's skulls and bones and things. So I'm, I'm going to say that's about the body. This is as about the body as you can get. Um, out of print or rare, we'll go with a few options. Um, oh, this one. This is a good one. This is like a less, like, everybody's seen it. Everybody's seen the first edition of Lightseers, but Terror of Many Doors. That is definitely out of print. I had to pay money for it. Not a ton, actually. I think I got it on eBay, but... This is a Tarot Mini Doors. I really like this deck. It's a little beat up, this copy, but I'm fine with that. Um, sorry, I hate, I hate showing out of print because it's like, you can't get this, but um, here it is. And then finally, only food on the cards. Oh, I have one on my table right now because I've been working really a lot with the Mushroom Hunters Tarot. I'm freaking in love. It's a white Rider Waite Smith Club, but um, do I have anything that's like to hand here? Food, only food. Um, hmm. I have plant decks, but they're not, not everything in the plant deck will be edible. So yeah, I'm, I, well, oh, to be fair, some of the mushrooms aren't edible either. So I'm not sure I have one where everything is definitely edible. Huh. Do I? Do I, do I, do I? Do I, do I? Okay, well, for the fun of the speed run, I'm going to pick one. But I'm actually not sure that I have one that technically everything is edible. But despite that, let's look at this one. Ugh. So I backed this on Kickstarter. came out not too long ago. This is the Mushroom Hunter's Tarot. And this, and I'm going to stop the clock. So that's 10 minutes, 47 seconds. Beat my time. But beat my time while also showing a few of the cards, because there you go. Um, <laughs> no, you don't actually have to. No one has to do this. I'm just extra. This deck, I'm obsessed. There's something about this, because, like, I'm not normally, like, oh, my God, a Rider weight clone. But there's something about the way the images themselves are very evocative like the choices around not just the mushrooms sorry about the buzz it's my laundry um not just the mushrooms themselves but the choices that were made because they are Rider Waite Smith based but the scenery is not exactly the same as the Rider Waite and so it's just very interesting like look at this one Hierophant um and then when you read about the mushroom there's a reason for each one, but it doesn't necessarily go like exactly with, so like the mushroom association and then the intuitive hit you get from the like way the things are depicted are like two separate meanings to integrate, two, two pieces of the meaning to integrate. I really like that. And I'm freaking obsessed with mushrooms. I am not a Scorpio. However, I'm obsessed with mushroom me medicine, with composting, with the death card, with Scorpio energy, with mushrooms as food and medicine. I have not actually consumed them as drugs, but you know, I'm open. <laughs> um, so yeah. So there you go. That was the Do I Have a Deck hashtag challenge by Journal d'une femme moderne uh, via Ben and Bowen. And if you want to play along, play along. If you want to be ridiculous like me, you can do a speed run. 10 minutes, 47 seconds. Try it. Uh, and yeah, those are some decks from my collection. If you want to read them with any of these decks, you can sure get one. Um, link in the description to book with me. I do tarot readings, I do human design, I do astrology, all sorts of things. But I'm more than happy to uh, give you a reading from any of these decks you see behind me or that I showed today. And if you want to know when more content is coming out, uh, tarot education, when I'm doing specials, when I'm doing classes, any of that, um, the best way to do that, besides subscribing here on YouTube, is to go to my website, queermagical.com. You can sign up for the newsletter. I'm not on social media anymore. I said to hell with social media in 2022. So if you want to stay in touch with me, the best way to do that is via email. And I'll respond to you. Um, if you, you know, chat in the comments here, send me an email. Um, sign up for my new newsletter, any of those options, um, I'm around. So, yeah. 
everybody hope you have a good tarot filled week